long before the economic blight of the Depression descended on the nation. Millions of our people were living in waste lands of want and fear. Men and women too old and infirm to work either depended on those who had but little to share or spent their remaining years within the walls of a poorhouse. fatherless children early learned the meaning of being a burden to relatives or to the community. Men and women still strong, still young, but discarded as gain for workers, were drained of self-confidence and self-respect. This social security measure gives at least some protection to 30 millions of our citizens. Young people have come to wonder what would be their lot when they came to old age. Young people have come to wonder what would be their lot when they came to old age. The man with a job has wondered. The man with the job has wondered how long the job would last. How long the job would last. How long the job would last. We have tried to frame a law which will give some measure of protection to the average citizen. Social Security gives some protection through unemployment compensation. Through unemployment compensation, old age pensions, and through increased services for the protection of children. Our federal government was established, among other things, to promote the general welfare. To promote the general welfare. It is our plain duty, our plain duty, to provide for that security upon which welfare depends. We have come a long way. We've come a long way. But we still have a long way to go. This is the frontier. The America. The America. The America. The America that we have set ourselves to reclaim. 75 years after its creation, Social Security is widely popular, but it is also controversial. In recent years, its long-term financial viability has been debated, with critics echoing complaints first raised during the 1930s. Social Security's critics complain that Congress uses the money from the Social Security Trust Funds for other purposes, while the program's defenders argue that the trust funds hold real assets. Critics think the program needs to be replaced or dramatically changed. Defenders maintain that the system's solvency can be assured with shared economic sacrifice. Stark demographic and fiscal trends demand the nation's attention. The Social Security Trust Funds have grown steadily since 1935. Today, they stand at over $2.5 trillion. The trust funds are projected to continue growing until 2025 and then decline rapidly. Without action, the Social Security trust funds will be empty in 2037. At that point, Social Security will continue, but it will be supported largely through payroll taxes and benefits will be funded at only 78%. Ultimately, the question today is the same one the nation has faced since 1935. Is Social Security still our plain duty?